community. This is Dr. Steve here with uh, Devon, and this is going to be a video on basic deck building. Uh, everyone builds decks kind of differently. Um, I know I have kind of weird decks, but generally you want to have the same like archetype when you build a deck, or at least I do anyway. And the first thing I start with, and I'm sure Devon has my deck on the screen, uh, I run a meta SL deck, and when I start, I try to start with certain power wins. And for this deck, it is Skywing Imperator because they're just generally an extremely powerful rune, kind of overpowered in my opinion. But um, their high range bombs can hit things in an AoE too. Uh, two Acolyte types, which means they heal a lot. And uh, everything else in my battle group has like acid damage, or at least a lot of it does. So um, that synergizes with that. Generally, Bombs kind of counter everything, except, uh, obviously, uh, combat awareness. So, you know, when I added those, I was like, all right, these are like the two strongest runes I could think of. I'm going to put them in there and go from there. Then I was like, all right, so I need more power runes than just that. And I looked down the line, I was like, oh, mixed sand snipe. Really high range, multi-attack, hidden sand, uh, good utility. I run them with scour, or uh, distract, rather. I don't run them with scour. A lot of people run Scour. I think Devon runs Scour. <laughs> Almost everyone runs Scour. But I like the utility of Distract. Um, and that's just because there's a lot of runes that have really annoying abilities and get shut down by Distract. Like right now, Yeti Curate, uh, Skywing Imperator actually gets shut down by Distract. Uh, Bog Hoppers have that Summoner guy, Spongebob guy. I forget his name. But uh, yeah, they're really useful for that. Um, so then I was like, all right, need more power runes, can't just build four. Uh, I did Snoggy, he's <laughs> standalone good, don't really need to add any runes for him. Uh, then Valdak, another really strong rune. And then I like to have a lot of power runes in my decks. You normally, you might not want to have this many, but, uh, I picked, um, Skywing Turtle as my last. And uh, he is really useful because he has anti-defense. He can drop scouting beacons, which uh, allow my guys to, you know, join the fight really fast. And uh, I, I added some a lot of runes with him in mind. And so once I now that's all my power runes. And now once I have those out of the way, I try to add runes that make them even more strong. Um, Snogby and Valdak in particular, I don't really add anything for them because they're on their own. They don't need anything to make them good. Whereas uh, Nick Sand Snipe, Skywing Imperator, and Skywing Patrol are all really good in their own right. Um, or rather, <laughs> not in their own right. They, they need support to be good. Uh, so, so Skywing Imperator is the first one I added runes for. And since he makes sand, I added Dunewalker's Mantle, which is essentially plus seven spot damage in sand terrain. Uh, because it gives Domain Sand and Sand Striker, which uh, added together gives seven damage. And, you know, as well as mobility and plus defense. Like, it's just really good. And uh, so they hit really hard with their bombs once that's a group. Um, for them, I also added, not just for them, but I added Mixed Matriarch as well, because they create sand for Imperator in case his sand alone isn't enough. Um, so just more sand synergy there. Then, so that was enough support for Imperator, because he's honestly pretty close to awesome, even by his, himself. Then I went to Mix Sand Snipe, which... With him, you just want sand, really. That's all he needs. Because he has hidden sand and domain sand. So when he's not in sand terrain, he's not very good. And then he luckily uh, synergizes with sand uh, or scouting imperator and mixed matriarch. So I have some sort of like just happy, unintentional synergy there. Um, I added Rage Band in his battle group for him because he has six range, I believe, and multi attack. So um, he can attack a ton of times from far away. And uh, Rage Band gives you plus one damage every time you attack if you're near um, another mix, which, you know, it kind of means I need other mix out before I'm going to do that, but that's not really a problem. I, I kind of love to deploy Matriarch and Sand Snipe anyway. Um, so yeah, that's it for Mix Sand Snipe. Now, Skywing Patrol is a rune that he's really only good when he's near a relic. So I added a lot of runes for I added Mix Matriarch again in mind with him because Mix Matriarch drops Mix Pupes, which count as a relic for him. Uh, Minefield spell, 
I added that in there because, you know, in addition to being really good, those mines count as a relic drop. Right? Um, Sneezic Machinist, you'll see in there, drops a bunch of relics. And so he's really good for that. Uh, I believe, yeah, Draxar Brood Queen uh, drops an egg that hatches, and the egg is a relic, so that's another relic. And when he's near a relic, he hits really hard. He has Sunder, and like I said, he drops that Scouting Beacon, which is just so useful. And then, so once I've added those power rooms and those direct support rooms, that's when I have sort of those leftover slots, champ slots, where I just try to add good stuff or stuff that'll sort of synergize my battle group. So I had... but. I usually like to run between 15 and 17 champions, and in SL, I like to run 17 champions. So I had three slots left, and I was like, or, or I, I forgot to mention the Doctor, my bad. Doctor is just, <laughs> he's a support champ that's just so good, there's pretty much not any reason to not run him, you know? He's, he's just too good. He heals, mutates, which is just a buff, uh, dispels, and he's dirt cheap. So I, I added him in there just because he's too good. So then there's, there's three slots left. I chose to add Skywing Agitator because he has a combo with uh, Forbidden Fruit that allows you to kill any champion as soon as you can equip it and hit Exert. So uh, to do that, though, you need to run Multi-Attack and Exertion on uh, Skywing Agitator as its upgrades, or else the combo won't work. And I, I use that to deal with really annoying champions or super champions, but... Um, Honestly, I, I use that more often on Rugal's Revenge or just really annoying taking champion. Uh, then I had two left. I wanted another beater because, I, I don't know, I, I have a, usually have an aggressive playstyle. So I put in uh, Skeezik Torch. He's really fun to use. He's newly buffed. He got Flamethrower so he can harass, and uh, he has loyalty, so he, he has a, a lot of damage out of it. Uh, he's, he's also just really fun to use. I like and then that left me with one slot left, and I added Angel of War just because she's fun. I like Battle Leader. It's, it's a fun gameplay style. She's not really amazing, but uh, she, she's in there. And uh, actually, oh, I forgot. I have uh, Sunder Doombringer in here. Forgot. So I actually had four slots left. But uh, yeah, Sunder Doombringer uh, synergizes really well with Scouting Beacon because it allows me to drop him right in the middle of the action because he has initiative. And so I can he can attack as soon as he deploys. And... Uh, he uh, also has Scour and Sunder. So one attack from him does minus three defense, which is awesome. And uh, after four attacks, he has uh, the ability Nora Thief. So he can steal 15 Nora from your opponent to you, which is a 30 Nora swing, which is so important. Like, it's it's not, I can't say it's important because you can play without him, but it's so useful for SL because they they typically have high cost champions. And uh, if you can start stealing Nora with SL, it, it's so useful. And then, um, so that's my basic strategy for champion slots. Uh, with, for spells, it's a bit different. I don't really have a, a, a real strategy for it. I always try to run at least one AoE spell. Like, for sure, in any battle group, I need at least one AoE. They're, they're too useful. If your opponent groups up, you can punish them for it. Even just as a finisher spell, they're nice. Um, so that's why I added Acid Storm in there. Um, then I, with SL in particular... They have, you know, high-cost damaging champions that you know, can stick around. So, like, do really nice power turns with them, and that's why I have Quickening and Draconic Benediction, which are spells you'll generally see in any SL battle group. Um, Quickening allows all of your champions to attack again for free in one turn, so it's at least three global AP if all of your champions attack. And if your champions can double attack normally and therefore triple attack, then it's 5 AP on that champion. So if you think about it, it's kind of AP gen, but, I mean, it's it's just so nasty. It's one of the best spells in the game, for sure. Um, Draconic Benediction gives all of your champions flying speed, which doesn't which basically just means you don't have to move before casting it because the AP uh, cap won't screw you up because the speed only lasts for your turn, so it doesn't really carry over to the next round. And it gives 2 AP in damage, so that that's the real thing. Uh, the flying is nice to have in case you need to go down over like a cliff or something, but um, it's pretty much just there for the AP and plus two. Uh, then left, I, I already explained Minefield. It's good with um, Scouring Patrol and it's generally just a pretty good spell. Then I had like a couple slots left and I was like, all right, what's some good spells? And I put uh, Meta Magic Backlash in there because I hate champions like Rube Gall and Aspect of Chaos and just those obnoxious charging uh, champions. And that just kind of shuts them down. And then I added Purge because I like having Cleanse, and uh, Dispel is really nice in case I don't have a Doctor out. 
Um, I can dispel things like righteous deflection and impervious. It's just really handy to have. And then quicken is just an efficient spell. It's really good with Sundered Doombringer, really good with Skyling Patrol. Um, if I have Rage Band on Sand Snipe, it's really good at him. It's, I mean, it's just generally, it's, it's just a really efficient spell. All right, then Relics, uh, War Banner, if you're playing full faction, is generally auto-include because it's a very cheap buff for what it does. It gives you an extra font bonus space, plus 5 HP, and plus 1 damage to all your gems, which is awesome for 20. Uh, and then Hive, because I needed a Perseverance counter. And, uh, I mean, even outside of that, it's just useful as a finisher. It has pretty good damage output for its cost. And uh, it's good for uh, font contesting. All right, and then uh, lastly, I add Equipment. Uh, equipment that I didn't directly add for synergies. So in this case, I already had Rage Band, Doomwalker's Mantle, and Forbidden Fruit for specific champs, which just means I had one slot left and I chose to add Dragon God Staff in case I don't want to spend a ton of Nora on Urge just for a spot cleanse. And uh, that there you have my BG. It's, uh, it's worked out pretty well so far. I think it has the highest win rate of any BG I'm running right now at about 80-75%. So uh, that's how I build decks. I'm sure Devon does different, and I'll let him talk about it now as soon as he gets his deck on the screen. Okay. So my deck is generally a little bit similar to Dr. Steve's, but it has its differences here and there. For Angel War, I have the same that good utilities and all of that. But for my differences, I run mine more base, more sand-like. It's just like his, but I take it to the next level, and I like my sand. So, for my differences, I run Doomwalker. It's a great champ. It's practically free tunnel sand for three spaces. No, not three spaces, but three AP. No, was it? Oh, never mind. Four AP. Grant Tunnel Sand for free, 4 AP, Tunnel, 7 spaces away, so that's great sometimes when you need to, like, out the gate something, if you're, like, on, like, it helps for, if you're going second, and you get a cheap champ first, then, but you can't contest your font, and your opponent gets their font first, drop him, Tunnel, and it saves, I think, 2 AP, yeah, saves 2 AP so you can get your font. Uh, it has sand valve, so 10 spaces sand, which helps with the tunnel sand on the first drop. Uh, if you need to, it's a good beater here and now. It's got 15 damage since it has domain, wait, no domain, not domain, but sand striker. So it helps there and here, but it's a good support champ. And when you need to, you can, you know, get some little action out of it. I run two of those. Um... Another thing I run different from him is Mixed Brood Lord. It's, you know, it comes in handy sometimes, but not most of the time I don't need it. But when your opponent's sitting there dropping numerous amounts of 1x1 one one champs, it's a good time to deploy him because he has Colossal, which takes 50% less damage from small champs. So that's good. Uh, brood brawn, I guess that helps a little bit when you're trying to get the eggs to hatch. But overall, he's still a good tank because he has four defense, including domain sand. He got he's got a little bit good damage output with he has 14 damage when he's on sand and has scour. Then it when he gets if he ever gets HP low, you can use Kasum. And that's the reason, one of the reasons why I run Drone Signal, because Drone Signal, it's it deploys another Brood Lord, a Summon of course, in whatever spot you pick for 5 AP, and it's a free attack. It refunds Nora when you have friendly mix out, and if you need to, when your Brood Lord is dying or something, you drop that and heal him up to full. So it's pretty much a 30 Nora full hill for Brew Lord whenever the chance comes. And another something else I don't run I run that he doesn't is mix slasher. It's let me say this. When you're going against maybe like I guess a faction like Shattered Peaks, maybe Forsaken Waste in some themes, just anything that you run into a lot of champs with. 
this guy comes in handy because he has spur which is for every champ that's in his range he gets three damage and plus one speed so that helps a lot especially if your opponents bunching up and lot because they don't for like a faction like SL you don't expect like devastating AOEs like Madding Echoes, Borges Bomb and all that they, they don't expect that so they get a little careless with their champs to start bunching up and it's pretty much a free pounce for Slasher and if it's like about three champs that's that's a um, free plus nine damage right there so that's 18 damage if you're not including else you can like do benediction and that, that's more damage and quickening all that so it's a good power turn champ and he's 60 Nora so it's a really good champ and to top it off he has hit and sand so your opponent not be, might might not be expecting it it has detection so it's got a little utility in there too brood bond like I said with the eggs and all that and it also has multi attack so for 10 AP you can move up yeah you can move up two spaces pounce still get an attack in so it's a pretty good champ solid I don't know why people don't run it as much they're crazy oh yeah I forgot to mention actually it has dodge pounce counter melee and assimilate on upgrades I used to run dodge and count no dodge and pounce on it but I started to get out of that phase because it's stealth it's st it doesn't really matter if he gets found or not because he's stealth and most likely your opponent is over exerting or just wasting resources trying to find it so it was just better off because most of the time it's not gonna die if it gets found by range so I'm not too worried about that so I'll change my upgrades to pounce and counter melee because you know with spur and everything it helps with the damage increase and output and all that so pretty good champ and what else oh yeah mix spitter there's another champ I run besides him a little slight differences because it's just like it's dirt cheap <laughs> this is where the cheapest mix that's actually is the cheapest mix well slasher was now he is it's 58 Nora when used right and not taking too much damage and getting two shot it it has piercing shot and thunder which are the upgrades I run on it so that's negative two damage I mean defense and pushing shot for six damage really good then when you're throwing on domain sand it has two damage but the only problem with it is dissipate which is for each range it has negative two damage but still Shunder kind of covers that so you really don't have to worry about that as much and that's yeah, pretty shy if you need a like just straight outburst of damage but pitching shot doesn't work with Sunder so if you're planning on a, if you're like trying to calculate something and you're trying to put pitching shot in it don't do that because they the two just doesn't work they don't go so good thing and oh yeah it has, yeah I already explained that domain sand then uh, what else pretty much other than that we run the same things Another thing I might run different than him is Unstable Power Source because I it recently got buffed and I have undying hatred of Forsaken Wastes Ruins like Unholy Tomb and Tomb of Hate, Chopping Blocks and all that thing and this this relic, this relic right here takes care of all of that. Two, two um overloads that gets rid of the tombs and Unholy Tomb. Tomb, yeah Tomb of Hate and Unholy Tomb and three gets rid of the chopping blocks so I love this room I include this in all my for Shenandoah BGs it's not needed it's not necessary you don't necessarily need it but in my opinion I feel like I need it because I just hate that actually you can argue that in you actually might need it because Forsaken Waste is one of Shenandoah's just greatest pains and when you run when you run into that 
it just it's just so it's such a good rune to have, especially if you draw it first turn. And covered that already. Transfusion. I don't think he has that in his BG. Transfusion, in my opinion, is auto in all SLBGs because just the uh, just you're controlling AP. Like you can control AP from one champ to another. It's just great for power turns, shrine rushing. That's the thing. I love shrine rushing. I build my I most of the time build my BGs to shrine rush. That's why. That's why I have transfusion in all my BGs and I have enslave in all my BGs because I'm always preparing to shrine rush because Shrine Lands is such a campy faction and I just want to end the game so I always include Enslave and Transfusion. Slave just it automatically possesses an opponent, recovers full AP and it's just such a good thing when you're trying to take care of the shrine. You do that, then do a quickening and a benediction or a benediction, you're good to go. Uh same with him, I run purge as well, but I run it for dip not I don't run it necessarily for cleanse, but yeah, I run it for mostly to spell because most of the time it's not worth cleansing because it's fifty Nora and that's a lot of Nora. And that's why that's why Valdax in the BG for all that, but most of the time you can't even get Valdax out. So sometimes you just have to suck it up and just take that dot or whatever happened to you that turn and see how it goes next turn. And I used to run Firestorm in his BG. I actually used to run Firestorm in all my BGs. Firestorm and Acid Storm. Mostly Firestorm over Acid Storm. But then I started realizing that Firestorm is too much Nora. And it just... Acid Storm does, what, 12 damage? That's including the dot next turn. Firestorm does 17, including the dot. And it's not... Plus, Acid Storm does negative... It does. It's scar. It's negative one defense, so that helps. Uh, helps, and uh, so you know you can. It's. I don't know how to explain this, but the the damage to Nora ratio for Acid Storm is yeah, like that's it's way better than because part. with the negative one defense, and if you're attacking, yeah, it's just it's overall just better than Firestorm, and it's cheaper. So always go. Always go as a storm or firestorm. Firestorm has finally got. It's, firestorm is finally obsolete. It. It's it, it's worth noting you can still run both. Like in one of my battle groups, I still run firestorm because it is nice just to have like oh seventeen yeah. raw damage on demand. But um, acid storm has a better damage type and it's cheaper. Has a better Nora cost to damage ratio. So if you can only include one, you yeah. generally want to include acid storm. Uh... I run two Doomwalker Mantles as well. Snogby as well. So pretty much our decks are similar. We have our differences and different play styles and that's how we that's how we roll. So wait, let's see, let's see, let's see. We'll be right back in a second. Okay there. Okay guys, we're back and I'm gonna go ahead. You know what? You know what? But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my BG first, and seems I'm actually getting Forsaken Waste first. So, and I know for a fact this guy's runs chopping blocks and all those good, all that gay stuff. So, we're gonna go ahead and see some unstable power source action, hopefully today. And he just draw raped me, so he got a first turn executor. I'm not sure. If he, if he, wait, let me count. No, he cannot get mid font. One, two, two. No, he cannot get mid font. So. I should be good there, but he still got an early first. He, just, he still got an early Nora and advantage, but. But you got an Imperator. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I got I got an Imperator, so it's pretty. It's all good. So I, I just got Nora advantage fucked for a bit, but I didn't get. Position wise, fucked. Well, the nice thing about going second too is that uh. Since the first player always has like positional advantage going first, you, you do get that extra Nora for going second. Yeah. So you're going to be able to deploy top and get to your top plot before he gets to his. Yeah. I assume, unless you just have... Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm still confused. How, he Executor 64 Nora, he should have had, what? He starts with 105, so he should have had about 
41 Nora. So he should have had 80, what, 86. Yeah, 86. Yeah, well, maybe he just drew, like, Sircon and all that crap. Uh, that's, I hate that. Oh, my God. The only reason I love about that thing is the fact that my Sand Snipe completely buck fucks it. When I have Sand, of course. So I got my early Doomwalker, got my Sand Snipe and Imperator against an Executor, so you know. It's already looking pretty good for me. Until you deploy a Shuriken up, up there and I start crying my eyes out. I have unfortunately not drawn my stable power source yet, but he seems to not have drawn any of his relics yet so far, so 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 far so so far so good. What did he just do? Curse me? Yeah. yeah. So pretty much I'm just gonna sit here and bomb the executor as a melee unit. I have majestic, so I'm not too worried about it. He deployed another melee unit. Not to mention it's a two by two unit, so you know, it's the ties are already looking. Yeah, that was a pretty poor deploy choice. Yeah, it's looking pretty good for me. So I have 58 Nora right now. I could deploy a spitter, but I'd rather just save and get my queen out so I can start getting some drone a drone action going. And now that I talk about now that I talk about that right now, I think our the mix theme should be changed a bit because the whole thing is based around getting drones out and spamming those. But we have one thing that. We have one thing that does that, and that's the queen. And she's she's been nerfed. Uh, we only we just need more. I don't. What do you think about that? Would you think? Yeah, it basically all the thematic synergy is in one unit. She she's been nerfed, but she's still really good. Yeah. Like, there's no doubting she's still awesome. It's just you can't make a battle group around one root. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't work. Unless it's, like, a really overpowered combo. Like, you remember River Rat's, um Aspect of Violence battle group? Yeah. Like, that's an example of when you can build a battle group around one thing, because that one thing will kill everything. <laughs> th mix, on the other hand, like, you can't really make a pure mix deck, because there's not enough sand. There's just not enough synergy there yeah. for it to work. So, it, it's kind of impossible to make a pure competitive mix deck. So, Hopefully when new ones are released, they're, they're more of the mixed matriarch type where they have thematic synergy. Yeah. But the thing is, I'm trying to think is, would it be imbalanced if we were to release more units like her that can actually drop the eggs? No, I don't think there should be more egg runes for sure. I think she should be the only like pupae summoning a rune. It's just the fact that she's the one that has Desert Walker and she has improved speed. Like She does everything... That involves synergy <laughs> outside of like drone signal and consume. That's like the only other thing I can think. Of. Yeah, that's tr that's true. That is very true. So I mean, there could be other things that have like you know, instead of improved speed, improve something else, or improved speed speed can be moved to something else. Uh -huh. More desert walkers for sure, because only one champion is. Yes, it? exactly. We need more desert walkers because do we? We don't even have any. Oh, never mind. Yeah, she's the only one. Yeah. Her and then the, the pupes, when they spawn, they do the uh, Hell yeah. same. That's it. Uh, so, I'm not sure what I want to do up top because I kind of... Yeah, I'm just going to leave a sand trail. So, I'm just going to back away for a bit. Then just act like... You know what? Yeah. So, position-wise, I'm looking actually really good because I have enough more to deploy Snarly so I can distract these things for a little for a bit and I actually can throw a Doomwalker mana on there too because I do not want to get Cursed Blade right now so I'll go ahead and drop Snarly do a Sonic Greeting distract everything for a while go ahead and throw a Doomwalker mantle on my Imperator I didn't I didn't really do that to kill this thing I just did it to hurt dirt because I can <laughs> yeah, it's it's almost never a bad idea to put these lockers down. Alone. You can just do it because you can. So I got it to one HP. It's gonna die by the dots. It's really good. So that means he can't do anything with his Rider Champ next turn. So I can just easily kill it next turn. Next level strategy right there. Right, right. Cool thing is, if uh, he moves up like all the way to really threaten to contest, you can still uh, put a, a spitter up there, right? Yep. Uh, actually.
actually can kill a shrine soon as well. But why would I do that? I, I'm in too good of a position. He doesn't have any attrition going on right now, so he because he doesn't have the relics out right now, so I don't have anything to worry about with that per se. Yeah, it's pretty much right now all his things are riding on my wall. Yeah, but I still haven't drawn my unstable power source yet, which isn't good. How did he get his shrine at 35 HP anyways? Uh, he's got Storm from Death Guard and Executioner, then probably Storm. <laughs> what a jackass. Because <laughs> actually, people, like, they make that mistake. They actually do that on this map because they think their shrine is safe, and I actually still manage to get to their shrine. Because they do that a lot, and they start backing up, and I get mid-font, and just proceed on the shrine rush. And I actually went against yeah. this guy before, too, doing it. And I won because of that. Because he was, he just wants off. I don't know. So this right here is a classic example of like why Imperator is so awesome. You got Korag, which is just completely re re uh, relies on Bolt to make sure that he's tanky. And oh, I got bombs, twenty damage bombs. Can't do anything. About well, at least he's got nerfed though, so he's kept, in my opinion, complete crap now. Not complete. I wouldn't say yeah, he's, he's crap, but I'm just good. saying like that's what I was saying. The Imperator is just so good for this situation. He's because. Old, it just core just relies on both. He really needs it. He's mediocre and in my opinion. Bombs just go right through defense. Yeah, he's pretty mediocre. Uh, I wanted to deploy another queen, but oh well. So I'm gonna go ahead drop a acid storm in that. Not acid storm, but acid breath. Then, um, nope, I'm going to be off by 1 HP. That sucks. If I had dropped a banner, but oh well. Yeah. I don't really want to get tapped by that warlock. I guess you could say it would have been a good idea to Majestic. Most people say, but because it's a melee unit. But I can take the Chain Lightning because I have Akali anyways. And it's not really worth getting smashed by that warlock and disease breath by the correct so since it's not free anymore you actually have to have AP for it now Korag is you know I guess you could say balanced and it doesn't matter when I have the sand slate just sitting here like what much can you do he can't really do spell spamming because I have weakened spells that's the thing people usually I don't know why they've been going with distract and sonic aura. I just don't know why because I find we can spell so much better in almost every sensor Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. I don't know why people take sonic aura. So I'm pretty sure he'll moby on this turn. Yep, he's definitely going to moby. Uh, well, let's see. Does he have double attack on my sand snipe? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh -uh. But yeah, he's definitely going to movie. Uh, nope, he does not have a double attack, so my sand snipe should be good. Uh, Raz didn't try to go for Imperator. He can't kill it. Oh, I, I'm aware. I just don't think he knows he can't kill it. He can't even, Five defense SL bonus, he can't even bro. kill the sand snipe to be... And that Horlock is definitely going to die. Oh, damn it, never mind. Well, I mean, you can kill uh, Corsian. Oh, that's going to die. That's gonna, and that's gonna, you'll have, hold on, do you have double tap? Gonna, yeah, you got double tap on right, fucking okay. Warlock. Warlock? Oh. Uh, wait, that doesn't drop globes? What the F? Um, I think I'm Yeah, I'm going to go after the Warlock. Because I got my other Doomwalker Mantle. But I don't want to... Place Doomwalker Mantle on a. No, yeah, yeah you don't want to do that. <laughs> well, I could do it on my Snobby, but. Think of it like this, though. You don't have to kill yeah, Korak. Like, what's he going to do next turn? Hit you for 13 melee damage? You got an You're just going to have him majestic. Like, it's actually, in, you know, it's pressing that you want to kill Warlock. Plus, you can hit him both with the storm. That's awesome. What the hell? What? Why wouldn't you just lightning star them both? Oh, I didn't know I was in range. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, gotta let 
that snog me through. I probably wouldn't have pacified the core idea either, because like, what's he going to do next turn? He's going to hit you for one damage? Like, uh, he doesn't have his breath up. I would have saved the pacify for when he had his breath uh, up. Uh, uh, then again, you get distract anyway, so you're yeah. probably fine. Uh, actually, I'm not going to worry about the core, I mean, the warlock right now. I need to sand snipe back a bit. Uh, it's, oh, sh I forgot about my Doomwalker. Remember, uh, top yeah, he didn't even attack with it either. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and drop a doctor to get prepared to start healing my sand snipe if it survives. Matter of fact, I'm actually going to start backing up a little bit. Do you have a plan for that top farm thing? Um, try to. Say, yeah, I'm gonna try to kill it. Probably would have, if I had quickening or do a benediction turn, maybe. Well, I mean, he, he's gonna be very close to dead right now. So. You say he's gonna be very close to what? Your your uh spitter is gonna be very close to dead. I'm surprised he dropped Zulu. So I thought he would spend Nora up there to kill the spitter. He part. Because your spitter's at 29 HP. And he's got actually with encouraged. He might be able to kill it. No, he didn't attack anything. So. Uh, should I land bonus? I don't know if it will die or not. I don't know. No, I think it's going to be 14 twice. He drops banner. I destroyed his banner. Oh, never mind. Very well, yeah, it's probably... Uh, who knows? This is Pox. Unless, unless it's minus... To, hold on, let me think. This is Pox Norris, so you never know. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh yeah, but he's yeah, forgot encouraged works on itself. So. Uh this is Pox Nora, so the, the calculations are pretty f borked on here. That sucks, yeah. I, I bet he's thinking real hard if the last hit would kill it. I mean he should know it's gonna kill it. Or Okay. <laughs> Dude's fucking insane. I guess that's free contest. Uh I just. What? <laughs> <laughs> I would never understand that. I guess he didn't realize Encourage just propped on himself. Like, I have no idea, dude. Somebody said to me. <laughs> uh, can I kill Korak? Damn it, if I had sand right there, I, maybe. Uh, I wish I had another Snogby. Okay, so I would get 19 damage, 15, 15, 30. Damn it, I'm still be short. Oh, I could deploy a mixed drone. Not drone, but Broodlord. And I'll, I'll kill it. But I... I mean, you don't really need to kill Korag right now, either. Yeah, that's true. I'm just going to distract. Yep. You can just distract him and he can't bomb you. I could also Majestic, get, but I don't want to get too close to that Warlock for now. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, good idea. Uh, for that Executioner, you know what? Uh, but I don't know what to do up top. Deploy a banner and leave, or... But I need to deploy. Well, if you go up and like start tapping him, he can't kill you unless he burns Nora. I don't think so, anyway. Well, it depends oh, how much he attacks. Anyway, I thought too, I thought too hard about it. How much Nora you got? <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that you deployed the angel. Yeah, why are you deploying top? Like, you just gonna yep. give up on it? Like... I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let my opponent feel better about himself by taking my top font, because I really don't need it, because I have mid font. Yeah, but that is, well, keep in mind that with this, you're gonna have two fonts, he's gonna have three. Since basically when you lose a font, he gains one, that's a two font. I don't really care, because I have more damage I'll put in him. Yeah, you have way better units, don't get me wrong. You're definitely winning on that front. 
Ha 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 ha, he can't kill. Oh, he has disease or mother effer. At least he's in fascinates range. I hate how that works with bold, though. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You know what? I'm just gonna do do Walker Air Mantle for the hell of it. I'm gonna deploy another. I'm gonna go ahead and heal my Snogvy up. I actually mutated as well. And charge hill. And then storm lightning storm these two dudes. Then of course I'm one space off from. I'm one. Ah, uh, I wish Doomwalker had mobility. Where's your uh, sand sniper? That died a long time ago. Yep. Oh really? Damn. Uh, I'm put the egg there. I mean, if you think about it, if you just put your snog be like yeah, that is right there, and then if he moves it, it dies. Don't, don't forget, we can't help each other because no thank you, or whatever his name is, thinks thinks we're three versus one. Don't forget that. That guy's an idiot. Like, I don't, <laughs> I'm not even worried about that. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. It's, it's just, like, completely irrelevant. I'm probably going to end up losing because, oh, I just noticed he deployed to my hate. I still haven't deployed. Got my witch call it revealed. But, oh, I have 28 runes, so probably about it's... He's probably going to most likely drop an Unholy Tomb. So, I'm going to be able to get my Unstable Power Source out by then, and I'll start hitting those Relics. I mean, he's, he's going for Circa. That's even better. Wait, what does... Two damage. <laughs> it's just funny to see two damage. Like, I don't know why. It always, it always <laughs> makes me laugh. I might be able to kill that... I'm probably going to probably be able to kill that Warlock. Damn, where is he getting this Nora from? Oh. oh, yeah, he has three fonts. My bad. Well, you can distract the Zulos instead, now that he has that bodyguard. You said distract... Wait, who did he bodyguard? The Warlock? Oh. Oh, yeah. he can kill the Zulos now. Check it. Yeah, uh, I was actually... Yeah, I was about to say that. Like, you don't even need to just distract him. You can probably kill him. Uh, damn it. But the Executioner is going to heal, sad face. Oh, why didn't I say that globe? Hmm. Got 17 damage from the storm, 6 damage from punishing the Oh, it's dead. Don't worry about that. Five defense, love. I'm actually not worrying about that shirking, so I'm going to head to, um, and Majestic the High Warlock. I'm actually trying to bait him into uh, I'm trying to bait him into actually frost coning me with shuriken because then his shuriken will be in kill range as well so I'm not too worried about that as well this is pretty much a good time to get Valdak at but depending on what he does this turn I might have to deploy, just drop my unstable power source. So he's pretty much doing what I thought he would do and pretty much start rushing my shrine. So that's why I deployed my slashers, start get spur going. And they're both melee champs, so I have counter melee. Yeah, I probably, he, he probably didn't even notice the slasher. Did he, to be did he just essence drain me? Yeah. 
He just essence drained my Imperator. He can't kill it. I don't think he can. Yeah, he can't kill it. Well, he does have flamethrower. But yeah, that yeah, means the high warlock is dead, so that was pretty much the most inefficient turn out. Nope, shrine of land bonus. It does twelve. Uh dude, lightning accolade. Yeah, good Legit. shit. Lightning accolade. <laughs> so that's dead warlock. And so I play my cards right. Oh, never mind. I can't get to Shirkin. Oh, no. Uh, no. Right. No. Totally what do you call that name? Freaking work. Fascinate. Well, that's a. F Make sure you uh, deploy before you yeah. kill it, though, for battle leader. Damn it. I don't want to move into that damn. Watch my face. Yep. Okay. Like it. I think I'm going to deploy Brute Lord. I haven't deployed him in a while. Oh, I can't even deploy him there. He's too big. You know what? Fuck it. Another Imperator. <laughs> Why not? Um. Eh. Yeah. Okay, and we gotta make sacrifices, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Charge heal it. I mean, you can also, like, move back with it and let it intensify. I'm sure. not that worried. Oh, no, I can't kill it. Yeah, you have to attack with, uh, oh, no. Atrium. Oh, no, I want that globe. I was really about to attack with the angel first. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna fucking kill you if you did that. Don't forget uh, Slasher up there. Oh, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> We're so bad. Oh no, not my font. Oh no. Why would he do such a thing? I didn't know that thing had immunity disease at all. Yeah, I guess they're like, yep, it's a witch, so it needs to not get fucked over by its own factor. Let me see, let me see. Shurkin is... <laughs> dead. I think. I was going to join Benediction, but I just realized, nope, that's not happening. No! Oh, why, why me, no charge? I need more sand. Damn it, if that sand didn't disappear. Okay, let's go. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. It was Grant Trail. No, I, still, no, I needed the sand. For that mixed room. On what? So I can get to the sword mage. Oh, uh, that sand. I thought you meant why I asked her On the bread side, you can start moving top and get that font back. Maybe. Oh, I can't even get to what's my face with the doctor, so I probably. Ah, uh, damn! You're gonna get some nice fucking Nora pick up for that. You're right about that. Dead Eater is so awesome. Actually, I was gonna quicken, but nah. Seven defense, Nagi. You gotta love it. I'm not calculating this whatsoever, but... Uh, here we go. Here goes nothing. Quick and go! Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. I wouldn't have killed it anyways. Oh, I had quick and revealed too. Oh. Oh. Damn it, I ran out of time. Hey, that's not fair. I was, I was going to play Spitter. What were you going to do? I actually had enough Nora for a Doomwalker, too. And I could have tunneled into the... Aw, oh, I don't care. 
Uh, be right back. Balance achieved, guys. 22 damage, 7 defense. Smog V. I have no complete absolutely no idea why he did that. So let me see. I believe I can get his font. I'm not a hundred percent sure. What a jab uh, benediction. I cook in snog the Wait, when does my angel intensify? I am back. back. With that scorn. Wait, how does Tuma hit? Wait, let me check it. Okay, it's at the end of my turn, so... Yep, I can kill the shrine if he doesn't fortify. Just remember... Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say you don't have to stand for uh, Snogby, but yeah, I was like, yeah, when does my angel intensify? It? Like, yep, this turn. Okay, it's game over now. <laughs> Are you gonna win Slave Sarkon? Oh, right, dumb beard. And that is a good game, I think. You gotta be effing kidding me. I'm not uh, in range with the doctor. I thought I was in range with the doctor. Wait, hold on. You can oh, grant God. Uh, Why tunnel. did you just help me? But thanks anyway. <laughs> I was gonna figure it out eventually, guys. So don't don't taboo us because of that. I was gonna figure it out eventually. Please don't hate us. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I mean, obviously you need to make more sand. Wait, uh. five? Nope, that won't work. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game so much. <laughs> <laughs> time. Don't hate us, guys. Don't, please don't hate us. Okay, that's a good game, and that is my SOBG. And Devron out. Dr. Steve, any last words? Are you even there, Dr. Steve? Any last words before we Yeah, leave? what's up? Uh, uh, go SL, FW suck, <laughs> hey, FW. That's words of a wise man. Okay, Call of Duty time. Bye.